for for my job when I'm gonna be um, uh, from working from home. The... Well, that's right. You get a sixty-five inch. Sorry. You've got a sixty-five inch TV, so. And I don't. You needing a third screen uh, is yeah. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Asus, Asus has a 65 inch screen. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me properly? Yeah, absolutely. Good. You might hear my steering wheel dur during times, the shifter. That's fine. Yeah. It's oh, a beautiful. It's that's a beautiful. A Mac yeah. It's my. It's, that's my favorite modern truck. I just. I'm just oh, warming so the engine up. I'm just warming so the, the engine up. That, yeah, so the fact that uh, they just released the Mac Anthem Modern Snow Runner today was a nice coincidence then. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a coincidence. Don't know it, but Gregory is also Coliso the tile. Yeah. And I just found some found out something. And that is that I need to enable game sounds in my recorder. <laughs> yes, sir. yes. Ah. Now it gets him. Oh yeah. That's it. I'm using the auto I'm using an auto gearbox. Yes, let's let's hear that ancient roar. Right, let's get start. Let's get started. I just grab a uh, world of truck a world of trucks con contract. Of course, Idaho has been released. Let's do that. Um, wow, that's a very short trip now. Let's go to Klamath Falls, right. Seattle. Yeah, let's go to Seattle. House prefabs. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, let's go, let's go, people. Let's Loga. do this. Ah, uh, damn you. I'm gonna disable her. <laughs> talk all the time. Hmm? If you don't disable her, she's gonna talk all the time. Yeah, pretty much. If I can even find her. And uh, she's not that, then she must be an audio. Yeah. Voice navigation. Not selected. Oh wait, I could just... I could just do that and... <coughs> bam. Disable it like that. Map didn't show that. <laughs> that exit. Is that a car field? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it actually is. <laughs> Playing AT 
ideas to get uh, ideas for the T-Series. Are you planning to uh, to do a, a modernized version of the T-Series based on the Entem or? Well, that would be a completely different truck. Yeah, it would. <laughs> no, just, um, well, I'd hope that people jo when people join in, they'd uh, write down or talk uh, talk about uh, potential ideas because I'm because I'm uh, working on the door, uh, door panels and uh, I don't know exactly what to do with, with those door panels so well if I remember right now So the yeah the door panel of the T series are basically just a piece of cloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But modern so, trucks modern trucks don't have that obviously. No, that's right. So I I put I well I I would make for an armrest for sure. Uh, most likely a compartment storage compartment in the door to the door and doors. No. Yeah. Regular stuff. <laughs> Uh, door and doors should be like uh, at the f front, middle of the door, near where the uh, well, well, where the door and doors is already right now. Um, yeah, maybe maybe something that can be two tone, right? Uh, at, at either tone. Uh, at door. Yeah. I was thinking le uh, black leather with um, black leather with a wood trim like the rest of the interior. Yeah. <coughs> oh, and would you uh, would you also be replacing the manual window uh, actuation by those little panels of electronic controls? Yeah. I force feedback, yeah. Yeah, but do you set it to the maximum? Because yeah. it, it sounds to me, yeah, okay, it sounds to me like you don't have much resistance. <coughs> I don't have a lot of resistance now.
the sound of this game is really well made. I think. Oh yeah. When it wants to be. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, bump uh, bump up the. Uh, uh, no, not bump up. I'm gonna show my force feedback settings. I ba basically cut them in the middle, because um, basically how it's like when I it's, when I throw it all the, when I throw it all the way to the max, it just feels way too stiff for some reason. It doesn't feel good. Oh. This sounds very stiff. Yeah, I'm guessing those trucks, uh... Oh, wait. I don't know if power steering is simulated, but if they have trucks with and without power steering in them. I think, uh, all, I think all trucks these days have power steering. Oh no, 359 buttons. I fill up my fuel tank, so I'm going uh, to the gas station right here. You don't have a load anymore, right? Huh? I have a trader. I do. I do, I just picked up my load. Yeah. I'm using, and I'm using my own trailer. My own trailer. It's uh, this my trailer uses uh, super singles. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that I, I was uh, certainly something glowed green on, on my RGB on my PC, but then I realized, oh yeah, that's connect. That's connected to the uh, to, to those effects in, inside the game. The RGB system from ASUS is connected to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, uh, games uh, game stuff. So why did something just turn green? That because you're refueling? Yeah, because my tank is full. Huh. All right. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, my truck's not in the best day, but primarily tires. So, uh, what would be the advantage of having super singles instead of bullets? Uh, yeah, super singles have super singles have the adva have an advantage over that they uh, are more fuel efficient to use. For some re there's a reason behind it, but they the are more fuel efficient to use. But they are a lot more expensive. Oh uh, yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> Waking up those those people. Stop messaging me. Yeah.
So oh, I just saw that just in time. <laughs> Don't don't text and drive people. Don't text and drive. <laughs> yeah, there's another Mac Anthem right next to me. That's the third one I see, man. This is a popular truck and <laughs> It's quite a fair bit bigger than mine. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna race. I'm gonna race that. I'm gonna race that truck. Dude, it's in gear anyway. Bad this motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> I beat you. I got more power, I guess. Yeah, there's an auto. Yeah, for some re for some reason I get I get autistic when there's a when there's a clearly a automatic drive unit right in the interior and I'm using a manual shifter. Driving 65 miles per hour and won't go faster because little truck contracts has, have got these uh, these uh, li uh, these speed limits enabled on the ATS, which I actually think is pretty weird because there are legitimately roads in ATS where you where you can drive 80 miles per hour with your truck. Oh no, I don't uh, Yeah, well then there's nowhere on the map where the, the speed limit actually matches the, the road cap Over here? <laughs> Over well, here at 65, that's not... Yeah. Wait, 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 just, 
real quick moment. I'm gonna correct something in the rec in the recording. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tune up uh, tune up your voice because uh, because of the game vol volume, it's so loud. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what. That's just a quick correction I made. That's perfectly fine. I'm also gonna I'm also just gonna lower the uh, master volume. Maybe it's about like this. Ah oh, this. About seventy five percent ish. That's better. That's so yeah, a cool you're, you're thing. that's a cool thing about the stream. In the stream you can make these mistakes, but in the recording you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Are you uh, are you in California right now or you're in another state? I'm in Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an Oregon truck right there. Yeah. And I'm going to Seattle, which is in Washington. Uh, yeah, man, be careful, man. Seattle's a war zone, man. I get uh, stuck in all different kinds of just. The only thing I'm thinking is missing on your lights. I don't have enough lights. I don't have enough lights? Yeah. How about now? No, I mean, if you look at the exterior view, your, your truck is not a Christmas tree. I like trucks when they look like Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. Probably to save resources. Well, usually it's people that put that on uh, customization. Very few truck manufacturers turn their trucks into Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that one. Oh, well, that one has a Christmas tree, but not the kind you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the kind, not the kind you want. I really like the the look of the night driving. It, it looks realistic. The lighting, the absence of it. What the hell, SCS? What the hell was that kind of curve? I don't know, but this the way the. The way the weight shifted, your truck didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. I saw it just in time, I, I could break. I mean, you're very considerate of AI people. I would just run on my high beams. <laughs> Sorry? You're very considerate of AI people. I would just run on my high beams. Oh, yeah. Okay. Even if it's... Cops around, just blind them up. I and if they get, I, I, I personally think that the low beams give plenty of light. I mean, I can see where I'm, I'm I can see where I'm driving, so it's, a, I think it's all right. No, that's all right. 
I like to feel like I've got the sun in my hand. <laughs> I understand how it can be uh, annoying to have all this uh, basically blooming from the white truck in front of you. Yeah. I like how they, they, they kind of simulated the uh, highly reflective surfaces of road signs really well. Oh, yeah. The truck is trying to tell you something, I think. Yeah, I have to go to the way, to, to the wreck oh, weight station. Ah, ah. <coughs> Uncle Sam trying to limit your freedoms and stuff. downgrade ahead oh boy I've never seen a wood station in truck simulator that's interesting I mean is there is there any way that you can end up uh, overloaded I don't know hmm Yeah, but I'm trying to think how this could happen. I mean, you can't load your truck yourself, load your trailer yourself. You can accept different loads, but they are always... I don't think you can accept a load that's too big for the trailer you've got. I don't know. That's, that's an interesting question. Well, probably. Tight curves. Yeah. It's an arbor road too. Yeah. That's where driving skills come. Yeah. Drive 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 a truck off the cliff and they were gonna drive a very nice driving action. <laughs> well I, I've told you my father was a trucker and when uh, we passed through the Rockies Pretty sure it was not voluntary, but lots of trucks drive off cliffs now. <laughs> this is dangerous. Yeah. Because there's so much weight, and sometimes you just can't stop it. Exactly. Yeah. And those little mountain roads, if you can't stop, you drop. Uh, if you can't stop, you're, de you're, uh, you're done for. Yeah. That was a nice billboard. It looks like Jason Jackson Pollock made it. <laughs> yeah, the best sound on the road right there. <laughs> Edge brakes, yeah. Yeah. Drake brakes. European trucks, those things sound so lame. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I never heard the Jake Brakes out of a Euro track. Even even on the anthem right now, they're like they're muffled a little bit. They're they're gentle and nice uh, engine brakes, not to bother people too much. But in some trucks, man, they just screaming. <laughs> ah, that that's so epic. Even they scream. <laughs> Had a trick thinks he can overtake me. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Fool. This is a futile inter. Oh, fuck you, Dan. Dan. <laughs> yeah. Stupid traffic. Yeah, they, they're just creating traffic for the sake of creating traffic. That's horn material, <laughs> right? <laughs> nah. I think I saw <laughs> three different speed limit posted. <laughs> 30, 70, and 60. Could be, maybe. <laughs> oh, did I see Portland on the, yeah, the road sign? Probably. Nice. Yeah, definitely don't go there. <laughs> I saw a very interesting video uh, lately. Portland was featured in it, but I was I was quite surprised by the, uh, by the results. What was the video? Uh, something about wallets. <laughs> about wallets? Return rate on the uh, return rate on the lost wallets. Oh, and what the what were Portland, the results like? Portland scored the highest. Mo That's Carrick great. Was among, was among the highest scoring. That's, That's very cool. Very cool. Honest people is always nice to know that they exist. Yeah. Is that another white station already? Yeah, but I don't have to go through it. Oh, okay. I've seen uh, I've seen a video about uh, this exercise of uh, wallets and returning wallets. Uh, I don't know in what city it was. I don't. I'm not even sure if it was in the U.S. or in Canada. But I remember that uh, there were more honest people than I thought too. Honest for a for a modern truck, I think the anthem just has a has a unique sound for a modern truck. Yeah, well, it it, it sounds as heavy duty as it looks, you know. And yeah. That's a, I'm pretty sure that's that's a design choice on, on their parts. They could have made it as downplayed and uh, uh, muffled. Right? Yeah, exactly. But I, I don't think that would have fit the aesthetic of the truck. So. I've never heard um, those, uh, I think it's the Lone Star, the new international Lone Stars. Um, I, I don't know how they sound like either, but I think they use Cummins engines. Hmm. Yeah, those, those big ass Lone Stars, if, if they don't sound mean either, it's a stupid design choice. Those trucks, it sounds like, it looks like they explode from the exhaust, you know? So. Yeah. 
uh, I guess I'll go and watch a video later on to confirm or infirm that theory. <laughs> but yeah, I am going. I've mentioned it earlier, but I um, we are going to ma make a uh, a truck. It looks quite, quite similar to the end. Oh, so it's going to be a different truck, but you're planning on making it? Yeah. But it's going it's going to be a different truck. Yeah. <coughs> that's great because. Um, there's a guy on the forums that uh, that's make well. It, he's been working uh, for years on a project about uh, making a Volvo VNL, right? And that's one. Uh, that's tr uh, a truck I really liked. Uh, that's the truck in which uh, I went into the Rockies and everything. That that the, the truck my father had. So uh, I'm very well. I just find it a little bit uh, disappointing that the project seems to be abandoned. But if you're making something like. The, uh, inspired by the uh, Mackinton, you know, that's a truck from about the same generation as his Volvo, so that's nice. It's from, it's newer, than, it's, uh, actually it's newer than a, than a VNL. The Mac Anthem is a very new, a pretty new truck actually. Oh, no, no, I, I know, his was a 1998, so that truck is about 20 years, uh, 20 years, um, or more recent, but the, the the design of it, especially with a sleeper and a high rise, uh, it looks a bit like a VNL. <laughs> I, yeah, I think the um, I think I know why there's, there's some there's some relation between Mac and Volvo. Okay, that that that, that would make sense. Exactly. Well, you know, um, convergence in uh, uh, vehicle manufacturer is incredible. I mean, Volkswagen owns half of the goddamn car manufacturer nowadays. Yeah. Uh, did you know that FCA and PSA are going to merge? FCA? And, what's that? PSA. Yeah, PSA. I don't. I don't know what that is. Peugeot and uh, Opel, Volkswagen. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know they were. Uh... So, as far as I'm, as far as I could tell, next gener next generation, next generation Fiat are going to be pieces of crap because when I when I hear Peugeot, when I hear Peugeot, I think shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you don't you don't like Porsche at all. No, not Porsche. Porsche is from Volkswagen. Peugeot. Peugeot. It's a French manual. Peugeot. Peugeot. Right. Oh. Yeah, Peugeot. The only thing I like about, about Peugeot is um, the 206, 205. Yeah. That's it. <coughs> 205 because uh, it's ready days and um, 206 um, and the 306 um, on some scale because of... Um, now it was featured in the movie's taxi. But other than that, Brazil is not uh, my favorite brand. <laughs> uh, Dodge, Dodge is my favorite. It is. So you, well, Dodge and Fiat are working together with Daimler Chrysler. My my friend just but uh, his um, his truck died when he was uh, when he was driving uh, uh, on a country road. Um, two pistons just decided to exit the engine through the hood for some reason. What? Yeah. <laughs> so his truck is dead. Uh, got, so he which, bought. Which truck did he have? Uh, Grand Cherokee. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty old one already. No, it was a it was a SRT8. It's what? It was a recent D Grand Cherokee SRT8. What? All right. Yeah. No. Uh, he, he 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 drives it like uh, 
he didn't take care of it really. He just he be he uses his, he uses his vehicles like they should be used, you know. But um, <laughs> so he bought himself um, a new Dodge Dart. Uh, yeah. What's the uh, job? Um, that uh, I think it's the 2.4 turbo one. Um, oh god. 2.4 turbo? What? I don't think Dodge, Dodge even sells cars with an with, with an, uh, 2.4 liter engine. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, no, no, yeah, it's the 2.4 Tiger Shark. Uh, it's the uh, Dodge Dart GT 2.4 liter turbo. Oh, it's a Dart. Oh. Yeah, Dart. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a. That's huh? a huge down. That's a huge downgrade from what he had. Yeah, he doesn't have the money to buy back another truck of that. <laughs> oh. he, he, he got a deal on that one, and well, and he, he also he, he's got a baby coming in four months, so he, it, it's good in my mind that he, he goes a more responsible way with uh, a smaller engine. <laughs> But I was just saying that because the 2.4 that's in there, that's a Fiat engine. Yeah. Well, that doesn't surprise me because Fiat is part of Chrysler. Yeah. And they own Ferrari too. <laughs> Do they still own Ferrari? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Volkswagen owns Lamborghini, that's what I know. Uh, uh, yeah, since 1988, mm -hmm. uh, they own 90% of Ferrari. And. Oh, in 2014, they separated, though. Uh, in 2014, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles announced that it would separate Ferrari SPA from FCA. The separation began to take formal effect in 2015 and was completed in 2016. So Ferrari, yeah, so Ferrari, Ferrari now is 67 public, 27, 22% owned by Exor and 10% owned by Piero Ferrari. Enzo's second son. Okay, so that's that's still owned by goddamn as Enzo's. Oh, that's cool. I Enzo was a fascist, but who cares. <laughs> <laughs> Sun is rising, if I'm not mistaken. Drive your damn truck! Do you want to hear an old and cringy joke that I like? Why not? What's the opposite of Christopher Walken? Um, uh, um, I don't know. Christopher Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. This yeah. bridge and the river. With the rising sun and everything. That's beautiful. Oh, I, I, I heard you take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> you could make that the thumbnail if it's good enough. I just had to hear that engine. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, you should have uh, just lowered your window while in the tunnel. Lower your window right now. To where it's in that tunnel. Now step on that gas. And now put the jakes. Oh, you're out of the tunnel. Damn it. Next time. <laughs> Next time, definitely. Port of Seattle. Yes. Um, that's interesting. There's uh, not any protester blocking the highway. That's unrealistic. Yep. I just missed my exit. <laughs> oh, that's realistic. So why is there all those yellow things? Is that because this way is blocked from how, or is it just an indicator of the way you should go uh, to follow uh, your path? But, you, know, you can't go there. That's what it shows. Oh okay. That's what I like about the U.S. Turn right was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something you can do in Europe? Nope. Not allowed here. Huh. I always thought that Europe has a better uh, road layout with the run... Uh, Definitely. With the runabouts and the... No? You don't think so? Okay. Alright. Do you not... The, U the U.S. really has a superior highway system. Okay. Because the, uh, the U.S. simply has a, has more space to build on. Yeah, no, but I thought I I well m maybe maybe the roads are better, but um, I thought that the uh, the roundabout system was better than the four light system. You know, but maybe I'm wrong. It depends, actually. Okay. little critters there. Yeah. It's like uh, Julius Caesar returning to Rome, welcomed by all these traitors. Yeah. Ave, Anthem. <coughs> Where do you need it? Right there? <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, I don't see where you need it. I don't know how you see it. How you see it? But... Well if, you, well, if you ask me, I was just I was just on time for that train. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it would have run. Well, would it have stopped, or it would just have rammed you? I think it would just have rammed me, knowing game oh. guy. Awesome. <laughs> That's uh, very considerate of him. <laughs> oh, you have to park it in between those two, man. Yeah. That's a tight spot. I don't get why I have to place my own trailer between that, but okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna uh, configure the key real quick for, that allows me uh, to zoom in on that mirror. 
uh, there's a button for that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Where is the zoom interior camera? Right button. Yes. <laughs> Left button. Cool. Now I can just control control this with my mouse. That's probably the best. Yes. Turn it this way. So you you got the G920, right? Yeah. So that's a gear 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 driven wheel, not a, a strap driven wheel, right? It's a gear driven, yeah. Helical right. gears. I've never tried a strap driven wheel. But direct drive is even better. What would that be, direct drive? Then the electric motor is right on the steering shaft. Oh. Uh, the, the, is that how the Fanatec wheels are made? or? Fanatec, yes. They have that. Alright. And they got like... 20, 20 Nm plus torque, the, the expensive models. That's that's force feedback. For real. Yeah. Right, you slipped it in like a pro. Yeah. Pretty much perfect. Right, synchronizing the, what I did with World, with uh, world of Trucks. What's World of Drugs? It's uh, yeah, it's it's some it's something from it's something from SES as well that, that you can basically. Uh, it's an online platform for uh, for sharing your trucks and stuff. Okay. Yes. But just imagine something relatively similar to this in BMG Drive. I mean, that would be awesome. <laughs> Oh no, it, it definitely will. Uh, there's the barrel core that's available in the farming pack that looks a lot like that uh, to some extent too. No, the barrel core. The barrel core looks a lot more. Uh, uh, the barrel core looks a lot more like. This. This is what the barrel core looks a lot more like. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh. I, I, maybe I remember wrong. I thought that the hood uh, had a little bit more of a slope to it, but oh, that could uh, be perhaps perhaps uh, from uh, perhaps from the uh, that's a VNL perhaps from the nine hundred a little. No, oh, it's definitely definitely a, a three eighty nine or three seventy nine inspired one. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay, I've got a picture in front of me. No, there's no slope on the hood, so you're right. It's more like the. Yeah, the 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 379. Yeah, but uh, caps like these are also common for for uh, for the uh, T series, and not just sim s simple interior like they like they've got, but they also just a full fledged interior built inside of them. For the T series, well, I know that you're making one, but I haven't seen any other one. I on am. The yeah, I am. Some some. Yeah. Is, uh, I'm building a, a a sleeper cab and with a full fledged interior. 
like like you would see on the real one. That's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, also gonna be time consuming as as hell. This is the new Western Star. That's a white Western Star. That's a Western yeah. Star. The new one, forty nine X. Oh, forty nine X, yeah. Oh, nah, I don't know. I, I don't find. It's not my kind of trucks. It it does. It's not massive enough. Yeah, SES said they said they would add a sleeper, the sleeper still that they still have to add it, add those. But I wonder why the hell they released it like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure it has modern lines, but look at this. This just screams Mercedes at me. Yeah, it definitely is lower quality than other trucks I've seen. Well, it just th th this interior just screams it just screams uh, Mercedes at me. I much prefer. Yeah. I much prefer this. Oh, this truck is this truck. Oh, this truck looks a, a, a bit more luxurious, if you ask me. Absolutely. More modern too. This this uh, uh, take a look at the forty nine X interior again, just for a sec. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, that 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 looks more like something you've seen, you'd be yeah. seeing in the early two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 I, I like the lines of the mic better, indeed. Yeah, I do. I do as well. And the yeah, seats, I, though. I, I personally, personally, I think the Lone Star is. I mean, it's unique, but I don't like the hood. No, me neither. But I do. But I don't mind the interior. Oh no, I don't really see it properly. The stream just dropped in quality for some reason on my, but. Oh, my um, internet. Yeah, I don't know. It, it is most likely my internet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just couldn't compare properly, but that's okay. This is a short frame. All right, I'll show you what a short frame is. The short, the short frame on the the, the short T seventy five on. T seventy five frame on in the, my mod pack. That's a short frame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The stubby. Oh, that's yeah, the stubby. But it's but it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm sort I'm sort of basing the door panels of the uh, of the uh, um, T series off of these ones from the from the Pizza so three eighty nine. Are you gonna make um, a lower a lower door window pa window panel or? Yeah, that that as well. I mean, nice. Every, every every single truck has those. This, so. Yeah, that, those will those will be made as well. Cool. Very nice. Yes. Definitely. These are super singles versus doubles. <laughs> you see how just how wide those ties are. Oh, they are wide. Yeah. But your total surface area is still uh, smaller, so I guess that for weight distribution, it must be a less uh, efficient. No, your surface area is actually greater. Actually, the same or greater. Uh, you think, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if you were to uh, to smush the two jewelries together, if it would be just a little bit bigger or just a little bit smaller. But, yeah. I th what I really wonder is how the is how this leaf spring of the t of the uh, 389 works. I mean, it looks kind of odd, if you ask me. Just like this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's a that's the leaf spring. What else could it be? It's. The, I thought I thought it was the line of some sort, but if that's the leaf spring, that that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's unique. I mean, the the anthem doesn't have that. The anthem has pretty is something quite similar to the. Uh, 
has something quite similar to what the T series has. And so does the Western Star the Western Star. Yeah, those are normal leaf springs. The other one that yeah. kind of bubbles are that's weird. Even this this model this this model P to build five seventy nine also has that. But also get the W nine hundred Kenworth also has that. You'd think that this suspension cannot turn much heavy loads. It's it looks flimsy, but maybe there's uh, something hidden behind the wheels that we don't see that actually uh, give more structural integrity to this system. Mm, I think it's just it's, I think it's just a, a a way of suspension design. I don't think it would really have any effect. Because what? What? Chew. Oh, sorry. That's me. Uh... Oh. Well, the load isn't carried by the leaf springs, it's carried by the airbag, so... Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yes. Oh, well. Well, that's my trick right there. The bomb. <laughs> the, the what? The bomb? Yeah, the bomb. With all of your little toes on your dashboard. That's awesome. I think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Carfield. Yeah. Uh, I I remember when I was younger. Each every morning while eating breakfast, I would watch Carfield. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, it was a nice show. I I think I love lasagna as much as I love it because of Carfield. <laughs> I I really like lasagna too. When it but it's, it is good. When it's when it's made really really good though. And now I see those pedals. Ah, come on, SES. The fuck? I S There's only one. Where's the brake pedal? Oh, okay, no, the, the okay, that's the brake pedal. The accelerator pedal is just very very blending into the floor. Um, yeah, but there's no there's, there's no carpet they don't move. thing. There's they, they don't move. Oh, they don't move. You're 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 stepping yeah, on them right now. I'm stepping on them, but they don't move. That's and that's an official truck. Yeah, what does move are these? Huh. So okay, the window, goddamn window buttons move, but the brake and the gas pedal don't. Yeah. Come on. Th that moves. That, that that has to be a goddamn bug. It can't be f feature that way. I don't think it's a bug. Really? Oh, wow. Is that a new truck? Like, that's something that they might not have done yet? Or that's an older one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think S I don't think SES would figure that anyone look would look down there. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh yeah, that's what still this this top part also still needs to be done on the uh, on the T series. That's right, storage space, and make it so that it can separate, right? So that if you get a a strong enough accident, uh, all your storage stuff can just fall on your dashboard. Oh, uh, yeah, that would that would that would require j actually J beaming the interior. And what would happen with that is. If you if you in, uh, J beam the interior, uh, it ca would cause for very weird uh, uh, cra uh, crashes. That's why seats and stuff in 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 BMG are not um, uh, not J beamed. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's a limitation I was not aware of. Uh, every every advantage has its disadvantage. Yeah. Train. Bloody train, get out of my way. Train of wood. Yep. Alright. Okay, I'm so, that sucks. So, back to picking up a load. 
going to put it at a place where it's more quiet. Not bad. And there's trains everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's I guess, train. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the industrial sector, so that might explain it. Run a red light. Yeah, I ran a red light. Didn't even see it, but that's okay. Port of Seattle. Ah. There's bl blinker lights. Yeah. It's like a metronome. <laughs> yeah. It has to turn green, come on. Yes. There you go. Took long enough. Man, <laughs> it turns green, you move about five meters and you have to step again for another light. Damn it. Yeah. These lights don't make sense, but okay. Uh, I, well, you say they don't make sense, and I agree with you, but they are realistic because the amount of lights that don't make sense in my city, man, it doesn't, it's not even funny. Hey. Full of gas, why are you no way? Eh. Right. I liked her. I like that it's full of, full of gas, but it doesn't want to light up for some reason. I'm repairing everything besides my tires. <laughs> ah, yes, safety in mind. No. Tires. tires, who need tires? I, uh, you, you asked me. <laughs> who yeah. need tires when you have steel wheels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just make, just gonna make those uh, steel wheels jagged enough so that they dig in into the asphalt and you're fine. Maybe the guy coming after you is not gonna be, but who cares? He's not you. <laughs> yeah. You're right about that one. I love twenty-two point five. I watch this YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's either Russian or Ukrainian. I'm not sure. Uh, called Garage Fifty Four. Yeah. I don't know if you know them. No, I don't. Okay, so they they just build the fucking craziest stuff, man. Like the the things you would expect a Russian bored Russian in the middle of Siberia to build with his ladder, right? Mm. And. Like they tried to uh, to uh, to put uh, I don't know I don't know it might be it, uh, something like a couple thousands big ass nails to make a tires out of them to to put in a car or they tried to uh, encase an engine in ice to see if it would still run and move the car forward or all kind of stuff like that right and the results are surprising sometimes it's a very interesting show. I'm gonna put, put those oversized things on my tray because I think it's fair. The supersize? Uh, the, well, the, the single. <laughs> oh. oh! Sometimes I get wide loads, so it's funny. Alright. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Right. Well, I'm, leaving it at, I'm leaving it at this. <laughs>